Previously on the RTG. Johan Cruyff, the only one that I want. The Brazilians are coming. What have I just gone and scored? Hello and welcome back to the Ultimate RTG. And once again, we have an episode full of content. Team of the Week save packs, player picks, team of the year purchases, and well, gameplay. Juicy gameplay. Thumbs up, subscribe. Let me know in the comments, by the way, what you got from your year in player review pick. Is that what it's called? Well, I'll show you mine. But let me know. Did you get anything special? Drop in the comments, hit that bell, and let's go. E1 Plus Attackers Pack, you never know. But the juicy one is this. I only had to play an extra two games, and I got a 50k pack that gives out a guarantee. So maybe the free packs are going to provide the luck. A1 Plus Attackers, let's get it. Mbappe, where are you? Come on, man, I need you. Well, that's not Mbappe. I've got rid of Cruyff, and I really feel it now. Going into the games, I actually genuinely feel naked in the attack. Oh, Nani Kulusevski. But 50k pack, 83 plus, come on. EA, help us out. You know what? I'm not going to open a single pack ever again. I'm just going to save them all. I'm going to save them all until Fever 23. Maybe we should go on strike. Until EA sort out my pat luck, we're not opening a single one. Year in review player pick. I'm pretty sure they could have found a better name. That doesn't really roll off the tongue. Year in review player pick. Basically, what this is, is any single card that's come out as an SBC, you've got a chance to pack them from the start until the 31st of December. And Kunku play in a month. I'll be happy with that. Oh, no. No, that would have been super clutch if I never did him. Hey, Koulibaly. You know what? I'll take a Koulibaly. 88 overall. Playable. I mean, 89 sprint speed is basically a team of the season. Looking at his stats. He's in. 689 Cancelo left wing back. You tell me a better looking center mid on the game than this card. He has literally everything. Maybe a bit better finishing if we were really being picky. And there it is. Our latest team of the year purchase on the RTG Cancelo with that five star week for upgrade. He can quite literally play anywhere outfield. But where we want to use him is in that center mid position with that 4 one 2 on 2 formation. And he was also purchased a couple of days ago when the market was still fairly low, 689,000 and bin. And if you go and check his value now on Xbox, 750. And why is that? Well, the rares have gone up to 1,001. So it's put a lot of people off doing upgrade packs or they've either just wasted their money already. And by Friday, well, the team of the years are going out of packs. So really from now until, well, Friday is buy time. And the market is slowly but surely creeping up. But Koulibaly, let's go and see what he can do on his debut. Cancelo to prove his worth in the centre mid position. Otherwise, he's in the bin. You never know. He might start just re-releasing SBCs if they run out of content ideas. I wouldn't be totally against that if they released the right one. Oh, Eto! Might be a chance here. And that was his! And they get 1-0. And Cody Barley's looking at his. <laughs> Literally. He's just looking down. You gotta look up, Cody Barley. Nice one, Vieira. It's a shame we don't have that Cruyff to pass to now. That was lovely, though. David! Yes. Trust in David. No, no, he really is good for the prize. Come on, quicker, quicker, through ball. Jesus Christ! Who was that? Was that Cody Barley? Come on, Fofana, that's nice. Jesus, just bully your way through. Getting forward. Good play, Cancelo. Nice, Neymar. Yes. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Don't take yourself out. On final push. What a pass. Oh, what a pass. Yes. Finally, something's worked for us. So I can't help but laugh when I'm using Koulibaly when you've got one of your better center backs looking at their groin as they're going in for a challenge. It doesn't really give you that reassurance that you need defensively. And his passing game, it gets a lot of power behind it. That's for sure. But no accuracy. He went and pelted one off the pitch. So Koulibaly, I've got to say that on his debut, didn't really perform to the best of his ability. 
and he is in a card that I'm going to be taking into the weekend league. Maybe slightly outdated these days. But what I did decide to do is pick up Insigne for 40,000 coins. He's in fact gone up and we've sold him. And he was good, like working the play, went a little bit missing, if I'm being honest, and his finishing, I mean, he scored one or two goals, but that was about it. So I just wanted to show you some of the extra highlights as we were working towards seven wins in the elite division. So everything is done now for Thursday. We're going to have a massive pack opening, four 100k packs, 50k packs. It's going to be sweet. Hopefully we can get a team leader there and clutch up right at the very end. But we did have those saved team elite packs. Remember we finished rank one last weekend, just gone? Well, I want to go and open them. I need coins. Kimmich, please. First one. Please don't be like three discard informs. Spanish striker. Borgia Inglésia. He sells for like 15k, you know? Maybe a little bit more, 17 now. Right, we need Vratty. Come on. Vratty, help us right now. Give us a few coins. That's not Vratty. It's, it's, it's him again. Okay. Rank one. On the RTG. At least he's different. I mean, 76. Can't really get much slower than that. A little variety for me. Wait. French left mid. Oh, damn. 86 the Abbey. 84. Bearable. So I nearly forgot about this draft. I had built it ages ago. And funny, right? Our latest team of the signing was Cancelo. And he was sitting here waiting for us. But Ibrahimovic that I hadn't tried. This was a nice little setup. How did we get on though? Enjoy. Ibrahimovic, Maradona, and Ronaldinho. I'm going to sub him on. First game it's for Lionel Messi. I know he's getting on, but. <laughs> Gets in there. The nose. Ibrahimovic. Abadi. No, thanks. All right, yeah. Free ticket. Free ticket towards goal. Thank you, Abadi Pele. Oh, Ronaldinho outside the box. Rolling back the years. Ronaldinho. That's how you hit them. You gotta green it. We need to see more of Ibra in this next game. That's well built. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Carlos. Damn, he's kind of dummy with that. Cross goal. Good goal. That was well, well worked. I think he overplayed it to start off with. He could have shot it to the near post, but he wasn't to know. That's nice, I'm on side. Ronaldinho leading the line. Thank you. Damn. Maradona. Instant to the left-hand side. Oh, I can't remember how I was doing it. I think it, oh, it was like this. No, it's not like this at all. Chance is gone. Or has it? <laughs> Chance hasn't gone when you got Diego. Oh, it's just his left stick dribble. What have we got here though for the semi-final? Oh, Sue. Is he pressing? I don't know. Is he is he actually playing the game? Ronaldinho. Is he actually playing? Give it there. I've been. Yeah. Elb. Literally perfect. Nah, I've hit some better ones. Oh, can you let me get through. Oh, one more goal, we're good. Suarez. What the hell? I've, I've got through like that. All right. Well, Georgie boy. There's no one as good as him. Hey, what's going on? I just want to jump in for the final so I could explain a few things. And I might be bringing some good news or some bad news. But I want to let you know what players I thought performed. And Ibrahimovic, in the very first game, he started off with a ball roll around the keeper, slotted it home. And I thought, all right, damn, we might have a really nice version of Ibra. And even in that game towards the end, the second round, the third round, he was underperforming in front of goal. Smashing the pose, hitting the bar, keepers making saves when they really shouldn't. But I don't want to completely point the blame at him because that would be me being slightly too harsh because later in the night I was playing some rivals and it was really dodgy. So that could put off any striker. So Ibrahimovic, one day we will revisit the card, but Ronaldinho had to put the team on his back. And he really did. His finishing, his skill execution, and with the Maradona combo, it was really fun to use. But the defense was letting me down. Asper Equator, I had to use. We, we also had to bring on Cedric in the left back uh, position because then I was subbing off uh, Aspie for Cancelo to play there. And it was all a little bit of a mess. 
but it was in my hands. And in this game, I, I believe we were 3-1 up at one point, and the guy was being very defensive, but that was fine, right? I could have just passed it around the back, but I chose not to, and I choked. And we haven't lost a draft final for a very, very long time. But look at this, you know, just silly mistakes. I, I went in for the challenge there with Cancelo. I thought he would really come away with that, but he didn't. And it's over. Premium gold players packs. Maybe they will give me something tradable as well. Player packs, three rares. They're not even bad packs to open. Mm, maybe we were expecting a little bit more. But if we get like an 84, 85, they're going to be like 20,000 coins. Come on, let's get a walkout. So as you just saw, we didn't really get much in those draft rewards. I was hoping to pull an 86 because they went from 15,000 to 23, 24 on Xbox because of that year in player review, player pick. That'd have been great. All the coins back from one player, but it didn't happen. But we learn from our mistakes. And Insigne we bought for 40,000, sold for 46,500. And his pace to carry the ball is fantastic. His dribbling with that left stick execution is near enough perfect. Passing game solid. It's just really his finishing and naturally like trying to use him as a cam. He goes a bit missing. I think why not just play him on the wing? His stamina is a little bit low, but just get him into space, work the play, RBA into the midfield or just like work it around a play and then pass it off to somebody. That's what he's there for. And then long shots, finesse long shots outside the box. Well, these Jekos are sold though, just to build up the coin toll so we could do some extra trades. And then with the players that we pulled from the Team Elite packs, I got rid of as well. Not all of them. I still have like Diaby and some lower rated ones on the end. But all of these Jekos that we still have, we bought for like 15 to 17,000 and he's already 22. And usually with the 86 informs, the trend is that they go out of packs and they go up to like 30,000 coins, which would be pretty insane uh, making all that money. But I'm waiting. I'm in no rush. I got a hope that EA release an SBC for the Team Leader promo or the Future Star promo that's coming up that requires informs and happy days. We're going to make a lot. But with the starting 11, uh, also one of the reasons why we had to get rid of Insigne is that I want to play Cancelo in the left wing position, slightly off chem but it at least saves a sub. It's just rather annoying having to pause the game and bring on a player. I used to do it back in the day, but times have changed and I don't fancy doing it anymore. Koulibaly, he was, he was all right. He was still playable. That, that's what's impressive because this card came out a while ago. He's still a decent center back on the game, but just not really an improvement on what we had with Koza and Cannavara as the partnership. And when I tried, it was, it was Rio Ferdinand's. He was a bit clumsy. I, did, I didn't really like him that much. So he'll be going into an Icon SBC very, very soon. But the good news is, is that we still have all of these packs coming up on Thursday. Division rivals, we've got like three 100k packs, because I've got literally the best re rewards that you can get in the elite division. Three 100k packs, two prime gold player packs, then added with the weekly rewards, another 100k pack. Surely something's coming. Can I get a team in here from those? Like last resort? You think it's going to happen? Well, all of that fodder is going to be going into the Icon SBC anyway. So fingers crossed, we either pack an insane team of the year on Thursday or we get something from the uh, mid icon and help our team. But it's looking good right now and I'll continue with my trades and keep you all updated with the RTG. So I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Thumbs up if you have. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you soon. Team out. Peace.